What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Flight Club with the UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya. What's up, Joe? How you doing? Very well. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. I'm definitely going to buy some sneakers. Let's go. Izzy, I want to take it back to the Chris Land Rotorua days. Oh. Did you have a uniform in school? Were you allowed to like wear sneakers? What was it like back then? See, uh, in Nigeria and also New Zealand, when I went to school, we had to wear uniforms. Okay. So whenever I watched like American movies and see kids wearing mufti and stuff like that, it was like a privilege, you know? So, but some days we had like mufti days where you get to wear your your home clothes, your own clothes. You pay to wear your own clothes at school. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, huh. so so mufti, what, what is that for people? Mufti is like slang for, um, it's casual outfit, casual fits. Okay. So yeah, you get to pay like, I don't know, a gold coin donation or whatever, and you wear your your own your own clothes to school. So that's when you would like show out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. Everyone just have their outfits ready night before, all that kind of stuff, like a fashion show. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember like what sneakers back then even? See, back then I was, uh, anything that looked cool. Okay. One I never really got that I begged my parents for was any shoes with lights on them. Okay, I don't know you, if you were, remember those like, like I, I LA just, gears. You bro, wanted to step out. I want to step out. Just be like black, 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 black. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I was never allowed. So maybe I might, I might, I might fuck around with one of those one day. Okay, still. And then like 2013, one thing that was very funny is like you would take like an Air Max 90 and you would say the holidays coming up. This is what you need to buy me in size 13. Do you remember those days you would just Instagram literally like an Air Max 90? Oh, oh that's right. The black, the yes, black. Oh, black. oh, yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. You guys went deep. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like was, trying to think. Was it was a black. Black. I, I know it was a black one. Yeah. So you like this. Jeez. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I finally got them. I got them in LA, I believe. Okay. Uh, or maybe someone sent them to me. But um, yeah, I just wanted some some fresh kicks, and it was just kind of like, uh, anyone want to uh, throw the out? Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah, I think I got them eventually because those ones were smaller. They were like size ten. Man, you guys scrolled deep in my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> but um, another thing, I want like you're so into pop culture, like yeah. your references, and and I know that like you just watch and binge stuff. But one thing that was really funny, we're gonna get to the Puma section later, but mm -hmm. you're unboxing a pair of Pumas and you say to the cameraman, do you remember when Fat Joe took one yeah. and looked at it? Do you remember like that moment? And do you remember any other pop culture moments like from afar seeing sneakers in the States? Yeah, uh, that was, I think MTV Cribs back yeah. in the day. So that was the era, you know, Pimp My Ride, MTV Cribs, those kind of shows. That was just in my mind for life. Cause I was like, how the fuck would he just, ah. Yeah. And yeah, that, that's, I guess, historic. Izzy, 2016, you were like the year before I got my first pair of Jordans. Was it really that late in life that your first pair of Jordans came 2015? Yeah, definitely. Even my first pair of Tim's, they got later than that, maybe 2018, I believe. Really? Yeah. I was just never like up on street culture. I was never cool enough, guys. I was never cool enough and up on street culture when it comes to like the latest fashion and okay. shit like that. But, you know, American dance, street culture, that I was up on. So, yeah, if I couldn't get Jordans, I'd get like, you know, some British sneakers, low cut. I don't know if you know. British Knights? Yeah, British Knights. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so because they're cheap, yep. I used to get them from the warehouse. Okay. And they were fresh white, so I couldn't get a pair of fresh white Air Force Ones. I get some British Knights. And then like Tim's, you know, we're in New York City. It's exactly. cold. Like, did the Tim's live up to the hype the 100%. first pair? Yeah, 100%. I even brought them to New York with me when I fought at MSG. Yeah, I was stomping around in New York in my Tim's. Okay. And like taking in the whole thing. Exactly, the culture. So, you know, when in New York. Tim's. Yeah. Another thing, the training sneakers running. I saw this, this shoe, <laughs> the 12s. Is he oh, doing, yeah, doing sprint? <laughs> it's, a, it's a heavy shoe to do sprints in though, no? Kind of like when Rock Lee had the weights on okay. you know, in Naruto and he had to take them off. So, you know, it's like weight training. Okay. Um, well, funny story of that, I went back to Nigeria for the first time in, in years. Mm -hmm. And I just went to go to the stadium to see the, the kids training and boxing and just kind of like support. Just show my face. Yeah. And the trainer was kind of like, you know, aren't you training? I was like, no, I'm just here to watch this. Like, I'm betting you are training, get up. I was like, oh, okay, bet. So I just, I mean, he said, jump. I said, how high? So yeah, we did hill sprints with and my that's, clothes on. You, you happened to be wearing those? Just happened to be. And I remember the comments were like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Why would you? You're creasing it. How yeah, dare Exactly. The crease is like the big thing. Ah, it's just sneakers, man. You know, you get some, get some more. And I saw the Mac Life interview, the random questions interview before yeah. the fight. Yeah. They were talking about overrated, underrated. Yeah. I know that before the Puma deal, you loved the Wave Runner Yeezys, but yeah. the other one's not. 
two and two? Nah, I don't know. Like some of the newer ones I like, like the slides look cool. Yeah. They look very comfortable. They look like they're marshmallows. Yeah. But uh, some of the other ones, I just feel, even like the newer ones, I don't know. You see the boots you easy keep wearing? Yeah. Maybe later on, people might catch on to that. But for me right now, in this weather, in this time, it's a no for me. Okay. Unless maybe I lived in Alaska, then I might need something like that. Okay. But wave runners were-, were I love the wave runners. Yeah. They just look cool. They look sleek and they kind of like, I like the patterns. Wavy. Izzy, 2020, you signed to Puma, the first MMA fighter signed to Puma. Yeah. As the kid who, you know, laid out clothes before school, what was it like to get signed to Puma and that deal? Uh, it was a big deal. Yeah. Like, not just a big deal, it was a big deal in the sense of being the first MMA fighter. Yeah. So kind of breaking boundaries. And also, I never really thought I would be signed to, um, you know, a major sportswear brand in that in that sense, because it wasn't, no one ever done it before yeah. in MMA. So when that happened, one thing I loved was the campaign, the announcement, walking uh, on the Sky Tower in mm -hmm. Auckland. And yeah, it was a big deal that made me feel, you know, like another tick, yeah. another, another achievement on law. Like a bucket list, exactly, you know, getting yeah. a sneaker deal. And one thing we've talked about, dan the break dancing a lot. Yeah. The great thing is that like Puma, the Puma suede, mm, like was such a classic. big break dancing shoe back From in like, the 70s and yeah. exactly. Yeah. So what was it like to like, you know, full circle your love of dancing and like the Puma suede that you wear a ton, yeah. that being a model that was like so iconic for break dancing. Yeah, I mean, from the streets of New York on cardboard boxes, you, you see kids, you know, breaking with suede's on. Mm -hmm. And one thing I love about Puma is, is the, the creativity they, they have and the freedom of, they don't have a leash. They don't have a expression. leash. Expression. Exactly, Electric freedom of expression, thank you. Mm -hmm. They let you express as you want. And dance for me is big in that sense that I get to express. So it just made sense that I could go with a company like Puma because they know me, they know how I roll. Yeah. I'm not the most squeaky clean, trying to be some kind of fake this and that. So they, they like the way I express myself. And yeah, it just made sense that we partner up, we link up. And one of your friends and like someone you look up to, The Rock, He's like, Project Rock is now outfitting the fighters in yeah. Under Armour. What do you think about that deal? I love that. I love that collab because, uh, to be honest, I won't lie, the old, the old slides sucked. I didn't like them. Okay. But the new, um, what do you call it, uh, Under Armour slides, they're actually more comfortable. Plush. I like them yeah. for my feet. And also, I like the look as well. Okay. You know, but I think that's a, that for, for The Rock, that's a good partnership with the UFC. Yeah. You ever see Jay-Z's jet? He has a Puma jet. No way. Oh. You going to Boston heard, this no, week, I, maybe? I, of, I told him, Puma tell Puma send the jet. Yeah. It's a bar, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the song, but I know I've heard that bar before. Yeah, there's a Puma logo and like True. it says 444. Yeah. All right, so maybe, you know. I think maybe it was a Nipsey bar. I can't remember. Okay. Fuck, someone find the track. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, you know, you go to Boston, it's a short flight. Like, hey, yo, Puma send the jet. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk shoeies. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoeies. That's my boy, Bam Bam. Yeah. yeah. Who had a great win the, yeah. same, the same night you did. What do you think about like the shoeies and that celebration? As someone who has elaborate celebrations himself. Honestly, it's iconic. Yeah. I love it for him. I love the fact that he's um, even got his shoe Vasa um, contraption out now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I just think it's, 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 it's his brand. It's just him. It's ex same thing, expression. Him being authentically himself. Yes. Who would have thought sitting on the cage, pouring a beer into a disgusting pair of sneakers and drinking them is going to be so iconic. No one did what Bam Bam did. Yeah. And he did it and now look at him. He's shining. Amazing. Yeah. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the show, see what you're going to buy. Easy. Let's, Let's go. do it. Can I help you with today, brother? You can help me. Let me see. There's a few I want. I want to grab these ones. Uh, do you have these in 13? Yes, sir. All right, bet. Let's see. It's two seconds and. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I like these. I'll grab these as well. Easy. Appreciate that. Good looking out, Thanks. man. Total's gonna be 767.57. Cool. Easy. There you are. I've been trying to get new colorways anyway. I'm looking forward to these. Awesome. There Thank you, you so much, awesome. madame. Appreciate Take that. Care. Have a great day. Easy. You too.
So, the champ came through, told some great stories. Thanks so much for taking the time. Man, thank you so much for having me. Appreciate, Appreciate that. that. You know where to find him. YouTube, Freestyle Bender, the channel. Subscribers are getting up, 700K. Yeah, man. Within a year, it's already been over a half a million. So, this year, we're gonna probably make a million off YouTube. All right, clock in. Easy.